I think it is understood that in these morning hours I am not giving addresses. I'm just seeking to bring you to the foundation principles of the work of God. So that there will be very little emotion in our meeting. Say Tidan Zu Si Bobe Kodong Chai Ching Kam Emigian. It may be hard work. Chum Chai Ching Bang. To the Lord Jesus. Don't in It was not very long after the apostles had gone that all those things came into Christianity with which we are familiar today. Infant baptism took the place of Baptism by immersion through faith in Jesus Christ. That was instituted very soon after the Apostle John had gone to the Lord. Then Christianity became organized into an ecclesiastical system with bishops and archbishops leading on to a pope. The vestments and the ritual of later Christianity came in just about that time. All the people who were in authority were just put there not because they were spiritual men, but for other reasons. This tendency was already beginning to manifest itself before the apostles had finished their ministry. Then 
It is very important for us to take note of this. So, because we have inherited a Christianity which is not true to the beginning. Now take what may be the last letter of the Apostle Paul. And then as you Susian is That is the second letter to Timothy. Of course, there are a lot of things in that letter that we all like very much. We like 2 Timothy 2.15. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needs not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of God. But we do not always recognize that those words contain a corrective. They are a call back to the original position. Of course, we very much like Thou therefore, my son, endure hardness as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. But we do not always recognize that that goes with fight the good fight of the faith. The battle of the soldier of Jesus Christ is the battle for the purity of the faith. That is the purity of Christianity as it was at the beginning. Now you have got to read the second letter to Timothy in the light of this truth. It was written because People were not behaving themselves properly in the house of God. Paul said that he wrote that letter that men might know how to behave themselves in the house of God. There was misbehavior in the house of God. And you know probably that Timothy was an elder in the church at Ephesus. That was a terrible thing to say to Ephesus. Think of all that you know about Ephesus. And then hear Paul saying, 
even at Ephesus, men are not behaving themselves properly in the house of God. Now, later on, we shall touch upon some of the things that had to be corrected. So, but for the moment, our point is that even so early, things were beginning to deviate from their original position. The last letters written in the New Testament were the letters by the Apostle John. He wrote all his letters and his gospel after all the other apostles had gone to the Lord. I suppose we all like the letters of John. But I suppose we like John's gospel perhaps better than most. But have you really noticed the character of John's letters? He begins his first letter with these words. That which was from the beginning. He's taking them right back to the beginning. And then the letters have to do with correcting doctrine and correcting character. They are departing from the original teaching. And they are departing from the original standard of life. Now note again, John was probably writing to Ephesus. Then when you come to his book of the Revelation, the Lord begins with Ephesus. And he says to Ephesus, Thou hast left thy first love. You have moved away from the original position. I think I have said enough to prove that at the end of the New Testament writings, on the one side, things were beginning to go away from the original position. And on the other side, the apostles were concerned with bringing believers back to the first position.
for a long time I used to wonder why the Gospels were written so late in New Testament times. Because Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John come first in the New Testament writings as we have them. Because they are the first books bound up in the volume of the New Testament. We are inclined to have the impression that they were the earliest writings. I want to correct that if that is your mistake. These four Gospels were written after most of the epistles were written. I used to wonder why that was. Why should these writers of the Gospels go right back to the earthly life of the Lord Jesus? After all this marvelous revelation had been given. They had received the wonderful unveiling of the risen and ascended and heavenly Lord. They had received the wonderful revelation of the church which is his body. They had come to see something of the eternal counsels of God. And when they had received all that, they went right back to his earthly life of three and a half years. Now, for a long time, I used to wonder why it was like that. It seemed to me like coming down from earth to earth, from heaven to earth. Like coming back from eternity to time. I did not understand that. So I went over to the epistle. And for many years I was wholly occupied with the epistle. I was taken up with these eternal counsels of God. I was taken up with this spiritual body of Christ the church. And I almost entirely lived in the later writings of the New Testament. And yet the fact is there that these men wrote those letters after the epistles had been written. 
，但是古早甲你讲，即福音是必须信，同我写。但是，咩你要信？真侪本事人，咩你要是读书拿到老婆？啊，当然是，所有唔是所有嘅书信是，啊，真侪嘅书信啊，是必须信，啊，拍照相。Now you see, I had a question. 那你还是讲，伊有这个问题。And for a long time, my question was not answered. I didn't understand why the Gospels were written so late. And although they were later than some of the epistles, the Holy Spirit put them as the first books of the New Testament. 虽然这个书福音是比其他的书信是较晚写，但是当编这本圣经的时候，圣灵作引导，编圣经的人该一摆在头前面。Now for you, here is a spiritual law. 您要注意，在这有着属灵的律。The Holy Spirit is not always. Very concerned with chronology. He says, "Chronology is one thing. Spiritual order is another thing. But spiritual order is another thing. But spiritual order is another thing. Spiritual order. 圣灵是特别关心、注意那个属灵的处事。Well, here was my question. 那是这，那你下次问多几下。But I have had that question answered in my own experience. 那你下次讲这个问题，在这个解答啊，就是伊的经历的中间，伊就解答。Later. The Holy Spirit led me right back to the Gospel. 以后这一段，和圣灵就带咱的兄弟哥回到苏福音的来源。Now I want to put in there this other thing. 那在这，我要再用一百行大字直接写出。And this is a very important thing. 这是一件真严重的事。You see, when I started reading the Bible. And especially the New Testament. 特别是读新约这一本。I did what most other people do. 伊也是用其他别人安尼来读。I read the four Gospels as the story of the earthly life, work, and teaching of Jesus. 伊讲伊也是用咱读圣经。先读书福音，读书福音就是要明白主在工作、生活、驾驶的故事。It is a very interesting story how he was born a little baby in the town of Bethlehem. 啊，当然真趣味，咱会知影咱的主是怎样降生伫伯利恒那个马祖的里面。All about the shepherds and the wise men and the star and all those things. Ya jin chu bi deng si ya, u jia go yin wei bei la che zhu, jia dong hong wei po su la che zhu, yao jia qi han han di qian kong de so zai. That's very interesting. Na jia si chu bi. And then how he grew up in the carpenter shop in the town of Nazareth. Then ah jiu ka lin kong, na ni zhu zai yu jiang du ha. In Nazareth, he had a job. Then, how at twelve years old he was taken up to Jerusalem to the temple. Then, I can inform you that in the twelfth year, he was taken up to Jerusalem to the temple. Then, how he came to Jerusalem to the temple. Then, how he came to Jerusalem to be baptized by John the Baptist. Then, I can inform you that he was taken up to Jerusalem to the temple. Then, how he came to Jerusalem to be baptized by John the Baptist. Then he went about the country healing people their sicknesses and helping them in their troubles. Then I can say, "I am the Lord who heals the sick." 
ลายพันธ์เองลายอีปีลายควาคุย How great crowds of people followed him everywhere. ทั้งนั้นสู้เก่ามือจักรเสาใจรอตัวกุญชิยองได้กุญติ Because of the help which he could give them. เอ็นนั้นสู้เต้าสู้ตัวไอ้ปังสนาม Usually in the physical way. เด็กเจ๊สิปังสนามสินเทอีกทางเทอ Then how the rulers became jealous of all this. เนี่ยเราจะกวาดที่หูจะใจโอ้ตัวนั่นสู้ And they took counsel to put him to death. In the song, the song, the be hai si, and it's true. The wonderful story of how he was condemned and crucified. Then I am just thinking, he died in shooting three, yeah, shooting three. Then how he rose the third day. Then now he did say, "Sorry, good day, Allah." All that makes up a wonderful history. Yeah, yeah. All I want to get in. He will be a soon. The first that is how I read the gospel. Then see what I thought him to say. I got those standard works books on the earthly life of the Lord Jesus. Then see then here the the best I do. Yeah, yeah, the标准, the guide, the help him, the 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 book, the guide, the guide, the guide, the guide, the guide. Very interesting book. I think to be a team, and that's all it was to me. I think she was a sort of just any time. And I thought that when Jesus died and rose again, that was the end of the gospel. I was in thinking, "Come on, let's go." Thank you, God. I'm sorry. 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 I have come to see that's all wrong. And you go on, you can't get that one. Everybody can read the Gospels in that way. Tarang, toy, tahok, em, chinuwan, ni tahok. I suppose any unconverted person would be interested in reading the story of the earthly life of Jesus. The angel boat, the kiwe, rang, i toy, tahok, em, chinuwan, ni jia chu bi. But we have. Failed to recognize this. But the land, just to do a two each hand, that no one can really understand the gospels until they have passed into the experience of the book of the Acts. Buran we tasuo em tare hose, nam si i keng ti do su to yeng tuan lai bin jai su e keng ya. That is the experience of Pentecost. So the thing that I am in such a kingdom, the church is also in such a kingdom. You know, even the disciples themselves didn't understand that until after Pentecost. Just in that time, yeah, a half thing, a boy being there, did they go also in such a year? They did not understand the work. And the teaching of Jesus when he was on earth until Pentecost. Then he said, "When the boy had it too, the boy didn't want to go. The boy had it too, the boy didn't want to go. 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 I could spend a whole hour now in showing you that. I have to take some quick time to go to explain the gospel. They were moving all through the earthly life of Jesus with a closed heaven. Jai Hak Seng Thang Gong, Long Zhong Gap Zhu, Ti Tui Jin Wei Sheng Wa, Ti Nu Zhe Zhi Pua, Le Ting Xiang Ki. But the thing is, he couldn't see the back of the heaven. That was the trouble that the Lord Jesus had with them. That is true. Tui Jai Wen Da Wu Zhe Lan Chu, Jiu Shi Zhi Chang. He said, "Have I been?" So long time with you, and yet thou hast not known me. You can go ahead. I'm just getting down, getting into the city. Chop, yeah, go away, go away, don't bother. And all the way along, his trouble was that they just did not understand what he was talking about. The sunny Baku, that is so difficult. Just half seeing, so that the, that is just half seeing. Chop, you can't do. Yeah, we have it. Don't worry. And because of that spiritual blindness, 
instead of seeing that in his crucifixion all the Old Testament was fulfilled, they were all offended. About his death, he was always saying to them that the scriptures might be fulfilled. And when it came to that, he said, This is just what I've been trying to tell you all the time. But they did not see it. And therefore they were all offended. They all forsook him. And you know the position that they were in when you look at those two men on the way to Emmaus. They said to him, we had hope, hoped that it should be he who should redeem us. All our hopes are disappointed. Our faith has been mistaken. See how blind they were. It was not until he opened their eyes that they saw. Now my point is this. No one can understand the gospel truly until they have received the Holy Spirit. And have come into a true, deep experience of death with Christ, burial with Christ, and resurrection with Christ. Because that experience, not that doctrine, that experience brings an open heaven. When I came into a new experience, of resurrection union with Christ. And of a new life in the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit began to lead me back to the Gospel. And he began to show me the real meaning of the Gospel. The Gospels have become alive in a new way. Now all that is preparation for what we are going to say. Now we come then to the adjustments which a spiritual life demands. And we're going back to the beginning. We're going to begin in the fourth chapter of the Gospel by John. This chapter, as you know, contains 
the talk with Jesus which Jesus had with the woman of Samaria. At a certain point in that talk, the woman said these words to him, as we have them in verse 19. The important part of this whole chapter is in verses 19 to 24. The woman said unto him, Sir, that is Lord, I perceive that thou art a prophet. Our fathers worshipped in this mountain, and ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where men ought to worship. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when neither in this mountain nor in Jerusalem shall ye worship the Father. Ye worship that which ye know not. We worship that which we know. For salvation is from the Jews. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For such doth the Father seek to be his worshipper. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship in spirit and truth. You turn to chapter 5. Verse 25. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the hour cometh, and now is, when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. Now I wonder if you recognize the tremendous things that are contained in those words. First of all, they represent a complete change in dispensation. Up till now, it had been Jerusalem and Samaria. In the 
Samaria et son âme. That is, it had been the temple in Jerusalem and the temple in Samaria. 당시 야루살렘 오직의 성전. 아 당시 이 사마리아 야우적의 성전. Those temples represented a whole historic order of things. 진의 성전, 당강, 외상 다자 당시 제례수 관의 종교 이쪽의 수수 관. It was a matter of a special place. 당시 이 경파의 신 in Samaria or in Jerusalem. Samaria, According to whether you were a Samaritan or a Jew. If you were a Jew, Jerusalem was the center of everything. In the temple there, you would find God and nowhere else. The order of things in the temple of Jerusalem was everything, and you would never find it anywhere else. The priests and the sacrifices and the altar and everything. The temple was the center of all things. So it was for the Samaritans in the temple in Samaria. Now Jesus says this tremendous thing. The hour cometh and now is. When neither in Jerusalem, nor in Samaria. Neither in this special place, nor in that special place. Everything is not going to be centered and contained in some special place. The worship of God is no longer going to be in a certain form. Neither nor. That is wiping out with one stroke a whole dispensation. That's a That's a tremendous thing. Supposing you were to write on that blackboard, fill the whole blackboard with all your doctrines and your practices. And how things have to be done. And you said, now that is Christianity. Someone came along with a wet sponge and wiped the whole thing out and said, that's nonsense. Oh, that is not it at all. Ah, that's it. What would you do with that one? You'd crucify him. That's what Jesus did. He wiped out a whole dispensation with one stroke of his hand. Then he put something else in its place. What did he put in its place? In its place? God is a spirit. Sin is a and they that worship him must worship him in spirit 
and in truth. All that old system of things may be very real to you, but it may not be the truth. It, it may only be a system of symbols and types, and that is not the truth. You may become wholly occupied with what is on the surface and what is seen. What you hear with your natural ear, what you see with your natural eyes, and you may not understand the meaning of that at all. It is the meaning which is the truth, not the thing in itself. The very center of everything for the Jews was the ceremony of circumcision. That was the sign that you were a Jew and a true Jew. You could never be a real Jew unless you had been circumcised. Here the apostle Paul saying this circumcision is nothing and uncircumcision is nothing. Hear a Jew saying that. Not surprised that they tried to kill him. No, it isn't the thing. And dear friends, in Christianity, baptism takes the place of circumcision. But baptism as baptism is nothing. In Ethiopia, the Coptic Christians are baptized every year. You could be baptized every day if you like. You could be baptized every hour of every day. And it makes no difference. You can go to the Lord's table every week. And it makes no difference. You can take up all the forms of Christianity. And really know nothing about it. That is what we are going to come to in our morning studies. My time is gone. I promise to keep faith with you to let you go to your work. So I have to break off at this point. Have you got this first thing? We'll follow on with this if the Lord wills tomorrow morning. When Jesus said, 
Believe me. Nan e tu kong sing wa. The hour comes. Si kan de pekao. And now is. Yan tai ji si. When the true worshippers. Ya si tai. Shall, shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Chai si tai ging tai. Yo ging tai na ne pe ti lien wa lai ding. Ko ti ji si de lai ding. That need not be in Jerusalem, nor Samaria, nor Antioch, nor anywhere else. The king by saying, "Put thy wife in jail, for thy jail, thy jail." When you are all sitting, Samaria are in jail. Wheresoever two or three are gathered into my name, there I am. Put young thy things, so thy volunteers, any so thy so thy we are in. 只要能带人，从我的名做起，我就是英雄军。John 3:16 is the universal word for salvation. 约翰三章十六节是普遍的话，来做救恩的话。Whosoever believeth on him， 无论什么人相信。That includes everybody for salvation, called to salvation. So, is it one with each person? Just who can I trust? No, I'll get that right. Matthew 18 is another side of things. Matthew, the book of Jesus, is in what division of way? There you come to the church. The book of Jesus is going to be called the church. And you have another universal word for the church. Ah, the church is a open way. What is It is not in this place nor in that place. It is not on this ground or on that ground. It is not church ground. It is Christ ground. Wheresoever, gathered in. Worshiping in the spirit, in the spirit, and in truth, and in spirit, and in truth. This dispensation has changed. This is the time. It has changed. It is the very first corrective that is needed today. In our day, this kind of teaching is in our day so crucial. Christianity has become very largely a legalistic system. In our Christian world, it has become a legalistic system. You must do it here. Need to any day. You must be here. Need to attend to the service. You must do it in this way. If it's in any that's the problem, or you are not the church, and it's in the body, it's God's way. The Lord Jesus has wiped all that out at the beginning. Do, then we see John just suck down. That is something that is coming afterwards. Okay, the hour to be called in my own name. He says the only ground that is necessary is in spirit and in truth in me. He is the truth. 就是在基督的里面，在灵的里面，在真实的里面。Christ has taken the place of all other systems. 基督已经代替其他一切制度了。Christ is the only system. 基督是唯一的制度。But we have got to learn Christ. 所以呢，要来学习啊，明白那里基督。I must leave it there for this morning. Now, can I leave? Go to the other room. And I'll tell you what to do.